we have very hot ones. So we're preparing uh, for a pretty long heat wave here as we get into for most spots, it's going to be tomorrow, but today is already going to start to feel very warm and hot for some. But we're going to start to see a lot more of those triple digits heading into tomorrow. And then that heat wave is going to take us all the way into the beginning of next week. So it is going to be a long lasting one. It's one of those weeks where people want to be spending time outdoors for July 4th. So uh, we're starting the warnings now to just be safe. Make sure you stay hydrated uh, and just dress appropriately as well. Light colors, loose fitted clothing, all a great way to try and stay cool. It's about 61 degrees over into Burbank. It's cool. We have some marine layer clouds that have moved into the valley. That's not going to stop the warm up for this afternoon, though. It's still going to be warmer than yesterday. And overcast into Irvine, truly enjoy it now because the afternoons are going to be very hot and these overnight temperatures are going to change as well, especially once we get into the height of the heat wave where we're just going to be off to some very mild and kind of warm starts where we won't get that relief overnight. Now, you're not seeing the excessive heat warnings or heat advisories issued yet for Inland Orange County and the Inland Empire. As of now, the National Weather Service office there says they're not issuing it until Friday, but just know that we might see that happen a little sooner. Either way, prepare for the heat wave to begin tomorrow and the risk of heat related illnesses is going to last for quite some time. Elsewhere, it's in place for the Northern Valley, San Fernando Valley, uh, even into the heat advisory into the Los Angeles city areas and where we're going to see the hottest temperatures, of course, the deserts. Palm Springs expected to get up to 120 degrees Friday and Saturday. That could break or tie a record for Palm Springs on that day. And then for the valleys in Inland Empire, the hottest areas could get up to about 106 to 108 degrees. So it is going to be a very hot one. Friday, Saturday, those will be the hottest days. We'll talk more about this heat wave and how long it's going to last and what the week's going to look like and July 4th in just a little bit. Uh, for Jay quite some time, it's all the five southbound, but we're not seeing any backup on the southbound. We do have some backup on the northbound, though. Uh, it's right at Calgrove Boulevard. Be a pretty slow week in terms of rush hour, but... We'll still expect some traffic out there, to say the least. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay. A lot of people already have the holiday week off. It's just blocking a couple lanes. There is no backup. You're good to go to get through it. Not a problem. All right, we'll have another check in just a little bit. John, Rachel, I'll send it back to you. Okay. It is now set to hit theaters five days earlier than expected. And, uh, you gotta get those and he's biscuits. earned it. He, he committed himself to saving it. And totally. I love yeah. that he is doing this. <laughs> Me too. Save Red Lobster, please. <laughs> yeah. You can see the delight on his face when they put the food down. He loves it. <laughs> hey, Les. Hey. Good. So rush hour as a whole hasn't been too bad, but we've, of course, still seen some accidents. And this is one of them. This is looking much better, though, than the 71. So that will be a good alternate. We'll take a quick look at too bad compared to what we typically see at this.